Hello class, this is your instructor, Joel Woodard, and this is our second demo of the semester, our second online demo. Um, this time around, I'm using the webcam that came with the Canvas shell um, instead of the Zoom webcam that we used last time. You, um, you all can let me know if this worked uh, better or worse than the last video. Um, I also paired my earbuds to the computer, so hopefully you'll be able to hear me a lot better. Um, so yeah, hopefully there won't be uh, any problems. Um, it's uh, Saturday, it's around noontime. It's a pretty rainy day here down in Orange County. Um, I don't know how it is where you all are today, but uh, it's kind of a cozy, rainy day. I got my, my hoodie on, I got the heater going. Um, I uh, haven't gotten too cleaned up yet, so I got my cap on to spare you my crazy bedhead right now. Um, working on my second cup of coffee here. So I'm all, I'm all ready to uh, get into this. So what, what I'm going to do is uh, just do another demo. I've got my simplified object here. I'm working on my lamp again that I did last time. And it may not seem like a simplified object, but when you really look at this, break it down, it's just a collection of spheres, maybe a cylinder, maybe a chopped off cylinder um some ellipses okay that'll uh that'll make sense when we uh, get more into construction starting to look for those shapes within shapes okay start thinking about that now as uh as we as we progress um hopefully you all have started your homework project if you haven't i hope you're at least thinking about it and thinking about what object you want to draw. Um, don't forget we're going to be talking about your drawings first thing Thursday morning when we all meet in person. Okay. So I've got some charcoal ready to go. I got my paper stump ready to go. Um, sorry again that your, your kits came with those teeny tiny useless paper stumps. <laughs> I, I didn't have any I didn't have anything to do with that unfortunately. Um, so if you don't have one of these, you know, don't worry about it too much. Uh, needed eraser. Uh, we got into that a little bit last time, erasing out the lights. And uh, I really want you guys to get that idea in your head that the needed eraser is a drawing tool, okay? Don't think of it as an eraser in the traditional sense, okay? Um, when you guys are outlining those uh, big lines, I should say, let me back up. When you are outlining your object um, with those big, thick charcoal lines, okay? You wanna smudge that charcoal and let it just fade into the background. Let all of that excess become part of the background and then go back, erase out that edge with the, um, with the needed eraser, okay? And I'll, um, and of course I'll demonstrate that as I do the, the uh, demo here. Okay. All right. So I think I've talked enough. I'm going to just jump into this. Um, I've tested a little bit of my charcoal. Okay. Before you guys start, I always suggest that you test, test your charcoal. Not sure how it's going to react. This is kind of scratchy for some reason. I'm going to get another piece here, another thicker piece. Sometimes you have to um, wear down the outside shell, quote unquote, of your charcoal to kind of get to that good soft stuff that you can work with. Okay. All right. I'm going to get into this. I'm going to gesture this. I'm going to start a little bit of music. And I will talk to you again in 10 minutes or so. Okay. 
Okay. Maybe I'll have some things to say as I'm working. I'll have to keep in mind that I've got this mic on me. Don't want to mistakenly say the wrong thing. One other thing I just remembered. Measuring sticks. Okay. Have that at the ready when you begin to draw. Okay. And I noticed a lot of you the other day were trying to kind of measure and go along, you know, measuring things out before you had anything down on the page. I understand how that might be your first instinct, but uh, it can be counterproductive. So I would say don't measure until you have something, something to measure, okay? You know, you don't have to plan everything out before you start. Just start and then see how close you got to where you needed to be, okay? Like this. This is like a good example of a gesture, okay? I don't want to... You don't need to start measuring until you've gotten one layer like that, at least, okay? All right. What happened to my chamois? There it is. Got my chamois. I think one or two of you borrowed the chamois that we have in those toolboxes in the class, which is fine. Just remember, we got to make sure all those materials get back. Let's see. Grabbing a smaller piece of charcoal here. There's a distinctive dark rod that is going up the middle of this thing. And the page is kind of buckling here, the top. You know, meaning it's kind of kind of wavy here. I need to address that because it's kind of it's annoying me. Got a lot of paper here. Before I go any further, I'm gonna take some of this out. have my clamps here to keep the page in place. That was an issue for some of you on Thursday. So that's why I have had everybody brought, get those. Okay, this is a little better. Okay, I've pretty much established where where I want everything to be. This is where I want everything to be. Now I'm going to take a quick measurement and see how close I am. So what I'm going to do is measure the distance between the bottom bottom of this lampshade 
to the base of the lampshade, to the bottom of this middle, not middle, bottom of this metal base. So from here to here, that's what I'm going to measure. Okay. So remember, keeping your arm locked so that you're, uh, you don't have those little micro movements that could throw you off. I'm closing one eye and the top of my stick is visually touching the bottom of that shade. This finger here, I'm moving around. You want to keep that adjustable. So I'm moving that to the bottom of that metal base. Okay. All right. I've got that locked in. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to keep this distance and I'm just going to move it straight up and see what's going on. Now I'm seeing that generally speaking, that lampshade is maybe two thirds the distance, two thirds the height, I should say of this distance that I just measured out, okay? I'm gonna move back a little bit here so I can properly measure my drawing. So let's see what we got. Top of the stick, just visually touching the bottom of the shade. Top of my finger is visually just touching the bottom of that base. Now I'm gonna bring it right up. Bring it up and maybe it's just a little bit shy. So I'm going to add a little bit more. Adding a little bit more. Okay. Okay, adding a little bit more there. Let's take it, take another look. Bottom of the shade, bottom base, elbow is locked, straight up, bring it straight up. That is a little bit better. So that's a little bit better. I think I'm just gonna stick with that, okay? And just for fun, I'm going to uh, take a, a look at another measurement. I want to determine the width of the bottom of this shade. Okay, this shade is wider at the bottom than it is at the top. Okay, so what I'm going to do, measure this distance, and I'm going to compare it to this distance. Okay, I'm going to see where it intersects. I, I'm guessing it's going to intersect somewhere in this area. We'll see. So, turning it sideways, okay? Turning it horizontal. Extending this to that edge. And again, keeping this finger loose, okay? So you can maneuver. Okay. Just about got it. I think that that's gonna be it right there. Now, keeping your elbow locked, that's very important. Flipping it over, bringing it down. Where is it intersecting? Intersecting about right there. Pretty much where I thought it was gonna intersect. Now that I know that, I'm going to look at my drawing. Again, bottom finger is visually touching the bottom of that middle base. Top of that stick is just touching that mark that I made, okay? Got that locked in, bringing it up, okay? Flipping it around. And where are we? Where are we? Not too far off.
That's our width right there. Okay. Take one more look at that. I'm going to remeasure this. Make sure I'm good. Okay. Visually, tip of my stick, top of my finger is just touching those marks. Elbow locked in. Turn it vertically, bringing that down to the bottom of the base. And just about there. It's just about there. Okay. I might be off by like a millimeter, but I'm not going to stress about a millimeter. Okay. It's close enough for me. All right. Now I'm going to take this again. And I didn't talk to everybody about this as a class. I talked to a couple of you about how angles are constant. Whatever drawing you're looking at, you can, uh, first of all, you can use your stick to check angles on, uh, um, on basically anything you're looking at. Okay. So I'm looking at the angle of the edge of this shade. Okay. That's what I'm going to look at right now from my perspective. And I'm going to determine, determine what that is. Okay. Um, and once I have that, once I draw that in, um, where the top corner intersects, I'm going to check that and see, you know, basically just drop it down and see where it intersects down here. Okay. That'll be the next thing I do. So again, checking this angle, holding this up, locking the elbow. And I am lining up, lining up the whole stick here with the side of that shade. Okay. This is visually touching it. So you are trying to get that angle. So it's parallel. So your stick is parallel with the side of that shape. Okay. This is a little bit tough too. You know, I'm doing this right now. My eye is closed. My arm is shaking a, a teeny bit, you know? So I don't want you all to think of this as an exact science. This is something to just get you in the ballpark. Okay. Still keeping this drawing loose, still keeping things general in the beginning here. Okay. All right. I think I got it. Now, going over from there to there. Okay. Okay. It's pretty much that. Okay. It's pretty much that. I'm happy with that. Okay. Now, I did have to draw a line to represent that. Now, as I'm looking at that, and you can probably tell too, the edge there is not dark. Okay. Now, I'll worry about that later. I'm going to fade the excess of that charcoal back into the background, like I said. You know, I'll do that later. Now, one step at a time, right? <laughs> All right. Now, I'm looking at the angle of the other side. The other side of this shade, elbow locked, one eye closed, stick is parallel with the side of that shade. Got it locked in. Now I'm bringing it over. Okay. And looks like I was pretty close initially. It's pretty close, so. That makes me happy. Makes me feel like I know, actually know what I'm doing. Okay, so that's pretty much it. It's pretty much what this shade is. Now, I'm adjusting the top of this because it's not as curvy as I had it. It's a little straight. There's a teeny tiny curve there. Not as curvy as I had it. Okay. Okay. All right. That's my shade there. 
I'm looking at it. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay. All right. Let's see. What was I going to do next? Now, these corners here. Okay. What I'm going to do next is take a, uh, you could think of this as a plumb line. If any of you know what a plumb line is, it's basically a long string with a, um, a metal weight at the bottom of it to um, get yourselves an extremely straight line, okay? The, uh, the weight is kind of designed to, um, how can I say this? <laughs> it's, it's designed to just give yourself a straight, uh, straight line, okay? That's what it is. So this is imaginary now, imaginary plumb line from this corner. I'm going to keep it as parallel as I can, as vertical as I can. And I want to see where this imaginary plumb line intersects down here. I don't think it's going to intersect with the side of this metal base, the side of this metal base here. But I want to like gauge the distance and see if I'm way off or not i don't think i am but you know let's see and these are all tips that are going to help you all when you're drawing okay all right vertically it's pretty straight pretty parallel parallel with the middle parallel with the middle of this middle rod here as i'm looking that's the most vertical uh, object that I'm looking at right now. So lining it up with that, intersecting it with that top corner, bringing it down. What intersects down here? Okay. So there's maybe a, I don't know, half inch gap between that intersection and the side of this, okay? Let's see how that looks on my drawing. Pretty close. Pretty close. I think, I think I'm happy with the edge being right there. Okay. Let's I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. I'm gonna make this a little more solid. Tiny bit of shade here on the surface. Shade and shadows are important to uh, placing your object, okay? You might hear me talk about that later in the semester. I don't want you to get, I don't want you guys to draw objects that look like they're just floating in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of some kind of void, okay? That's important to, um, realistic drawing, okay? Um, I'm just gonna establish a little more of this glass base here, okay? This is not 100%. So again, I've established a little bit more to check myself against, okay? So I'm happy with this. I'm going to check this now. Where does that intersect? So going to that corner, keeping my stick as vertical as possible. And by the way, you probably have found that some of these sticks can be warped. You know, I'm looking at mine now, and it's pretty warped. If um, if you just rotate your stick to one side, you'll find that visually there will be an angle where it's perfectly straight up and down. Okay, so don't don't freak out about your uh, stick being slightly warped. Okay, 
just roll it out until you find that uh, perfect straight line. Okay. All right. Holding it vertically, intersecting that corner, lining it up with the middle of that bar, that that pull, I should say, that post going up the middle of this lamp. All right. Got that established now. I'm bringing it down, bringing it down. And it's pretty much the same distance. Let's see. Maybe I'll shave off a little bit. Shaving off a little bit here. Now I'm going to remeasure it. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that distance right there. Okay, again, these little measurements and notations are just meant to get you in the ballpark, okay? You don't have to slavishly adhere to all of this, okay? I just dropped my other piece of charcoal. I don't know where it went. Let me get another uh, piece here. I like that small piece. Now, um, so we got the bottom, we got the sides, good. This is looking a little too thick to me now. But all I have is that shade to check myself against. So I'm just going to establish a few other things here, okay? I'm just going to eyeball it. I'm just going to wing it. And then after which, we'll see how, how close I am, how far, far off this thickness is, okay? As you might be able to tell, I've got a lot of junk on my table here. I've got uh, paint tubes behind it. I've got a piece of cardboard. When you're setting your still life up at home, you'll be doing yourself a favor to have as little going on in the background as possible. You want to have as little visual noise as possible. This was my bottom here. Now I'm looking at this. So we established this thickness was right. This is coming down a little too much. And as I'm looking at it, the bow at the bottom of this lampshade is not as not as curvy as I had drawn it. And that will give me a little more space for this third shape here to 
it's at the top, it's at the top of the top of this lamp. Yeah, that's looking a little bit better. Okay. Bottom of this is smaller than these other uh, little shapes here, these other glass shapes. Okay. Smudging all of this out with my finger so we can erase out some of those lights later on. Keeping your drawing nice and loose and soft. Remember, don't lock yourself into marks that you can't erase later. Don't lock yourself into decisions that might be mistakes. It's one of my favorite things to say, so you'll probably hear me say it a lot this semester. Okay. All right, so I think I've got enough here. Now, just generally, I'm looking at the thickness of this bottom orb, and it is... Yeah, it's about right there. Yeah. I think I'm pretty spot on with that. Okay. So we were going to look at the thickness of this metal base, okay? Now we know bottom of this is correct, right? So that's not going to change. We know the sides of this are correct. That is not going to change. So something in here might have to change. Maybe this back here will change where this shape ellipses back. Maybe it doesn't ellipse back as far as I have it. Maybe it only ellipses back to here. Okay. Maybe, maybe not. Let's check it out. So what can I check this against? That's the question now. <sighs> so what we, the only thing on here that we know is correct is the lampshade. So I'm going to lock that distance in. I'm going to lock this measurement in here and see how many of those, how can I say this, this distance, how many of, of that distance, how many of those equal the lampshade, equal the height of the lampshade? That's all I can do right now. Let's see what that tells us. So locking my arm in place, lining up the tip, tip top of the stick, touching the top of that metal base visually. When I say touching it, I don't mean literally, of course. Bottom finger here is going to line up with the bottom of the metal base. Okay. Generally, I got that. Okay. I got one eye closed. Everything is lining up. All right. I got it. Now, keeping my arm blocked, keeping myself in place, bringing that up, bringing that up. So this is going to be tricky. Luckily, I have that pattern on the lampshade that I haven't drawn yet uh, to guide me. Okay. Uh, if I didn't have that, this would be a bit more difficult. Okay. So I'm going to see how many of those distances, how many of the thickness of that metal base is equal 
to the height of the lamp shape. Okay, so I've got one. Bring it up again. Okay, I've got two. Okay, I've got three, four, five, six. Oh, that was tough. About six and a half. Six and a half of these are inside of this lampshade. Okay, let's see if that's what I got. Now, when you do something like this, making some marks will help you out. Okay. All right. Arm locked in place. Getting that height. Bottom of my finger. Top of the stick. Bringing it right up. So there. Now, I'm just going to do this do this visually, okay, for the uh, interest of time. I actually don't know how long I've been doing this. Maybe it's been 40 minutes. Okay, I've got one. I've got two. I've got three. Four. Here to here is four of these. So that tells me right there it's too thick, okay? So determining how much I should shave off is going to be uh, kind of a trial and error thing, okay? I might not get it right the first time. I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna just decide that top of it's right there and I'm going to remeasure that, okay? I'm gonna measure it right now before I go and draw it all out, okay? So, we know that was too thick. So I'm going to erase that down a bit. There goes my eraser. <clears throat> All right. Now let's take a look at this. Six and a half. That's our magic number. All right. I got that roughly. Okay. Going back up. There's one. There's two. There's three. There's four. There's, okay, four, four and a half. Let's do it again. And if I, if it happens that I can't hit that number, I might just say the hell with it and go with what I got. But I'm trying to get this as accurate as I can. This is all designed to help you all resolve problems that are going on with your drawings, okay? When you see something that's just totally out of whack, all these little, little, uh, all these skills I'm trying to teach you, it's all going to help you out. All right, let's check it out now. I have reduced it a little more. And when I'm taking a look at uh, up here, trying to equal that out, I'm just, excuse me, by the way, <laughs> I'm just uh, looking at um, little uh, marks up here. I'm, I'm lining this up with whatever marks up here I can, okay? That's what I'm doing. Yeah. All right, let's check that out. All right, got that one. All right, now what is our one up here? Okay, one, got it. Two, got it. Three, got it. There's four. Okay, there's our four. There's our five there's our six so it's just about six now we need that uh, little little half however i might just be happy with where it is right now i'm 
me just go with this for a little for a second here. See where we are. Okay. Needed eraser. Let's let's do this. Smudge that out. Smudging that out. Okay. All that excess charcoal. Let it fade into the background. Okay. Here comes our needed eraser drawing tool. Starting to, starting to like how this is looking. Got to be mindful of the uh, width here. right-handed so it's when I erase with this eraser it's covering up what I did I can't really see what I have done Okay, I think we're I think we're good with this here. I'm liking that. I think I'm going to leave it alone. Okay, so. It might not be 100% accurate. I think we're still missing that half a uh, length up here, but you know I'm not going to balk about uh, a half half a length. Okay, that's part of um, artistic license. Okay, let me just take a look at something right now. Yeah. Okay. Um. I'm just about at the 45 minute mark here, so I'm going to try and keep this under an hour. Um, I'll do a few more things here and then hopefully I'll be able to wrap this up soon. Excuse me. <laughs> so let's do a couple more things. The base of this glass right here a little bit closer to the top of this metal base than I have it, okay? Now, if I wanted to get really anal about it, I would measure this distance right here, maybe compare it to something else to see how accurate this is. But you know what? I, I'm feeling pretty comfortable with this. I don't want to get too, too stiff with this. Okay, so I'm just establishing a few more things here. Okay, now that I've got this a little more accurate, I'm seeing that the bottom of this larger orb here, a little bit closer to the bottom, 
and I had it. Keeping in mind that the width was good, okay? So just retain, retain that measurement. Okay, now I'm going to do another measurement here. This is uh, pretty, it's actually too easy not to do. Okay, I'm going to take a height measurement, top of this, bottom of this, compare it with our lampshade. Okay, it's just a little, it's just too obvious. I mean, why wouldn't I do that? All right, locking that in. Bringing it up, let's see, uh, there, right there, it's, this distance is almost half of this. So let's check that out. Bottom, top, bringing it up, lining it up with one of my marks there, and oof, too much. Is actually a little too much. A lot of charcoal here, so here comes our eraser. Okay, I think I've compressed it a little bit. Let me measure that again. Make sure that it was accurate the first time. Maybe I wasn't. I mean, it's guts telling me I wasn't that far off. Okay, got it. Bringing it up to middle right there. Yeah, just under two. This should equal two. Two of these should be able to fit in here. Okay. All right. Got that. All right. There is that. And there. Okay. I think that's right. Um, looks a little funky to me now, but hmm. See if I can figure out what's going on. Not time left here. I think more needed to come down. Now that might change our proportions up here, but again, I think I'm happy enough with it. And I could have set myself up for better success here. Like I said earlier, there's a lot of visual noise behind this object. I got paint tubes back there, that cardboard. It's dividing up the space in a way that's making it a little hard to see everything going on with this lamp. But, but that's okay. Okay, generally, I think I'm happy with this, okay? So now 
I'm going in and I'm making some marks with our needed eraser here. Now I'm seeing that now that I've changed this, the rest of this is probably going to change. I'm just going to wing it and hopefully get me close to where we need to be with this drawing. We're getting there. looking pretty good. I like that. Um, still very loose. Still a lot more to, to add in here. But I think this drawing is in good shape. Definitely in good shape. Okay. So, let's see how much time it's been. 52. I think what I'm going to do is... Uh, finish this drawing on my own. I don't think I'm going to give it more than, I don't know, another 15 minutes. I actually have to leave in 15 minutes. So um, this is what I'll do. I'll finish this. I'm going to take an image of both what I'm looking at and the drawing. I'll post that so you could see how close I was to in the end. Okay. And um, uh, I'll post that along with this video. You guys can check this out. Um, you'll, um, you know, watch it. If you have any questions, anything maybe I wasn't clear about, uh, we'll go over it then. Okay. So, uh, so this is great. I hope, um, hope this was helpful. And um, I wish you guys all all the luck. <laughs> I wish you guys a lot of luck with your uh, drawings this weekend. Can't wait to see what you come up with on Thursday when we have our uh, first critique together. Okay. And uh, let me know. Um, post any comments, questions, anything, uh, anything you need to know. All right. Take care, guys. See you soon.